You know, we were so pleased to host COP26 in Glasgow in Scotland a number of years ago. And uh, at that point, we were the first government in the global north to commit funding to loss and damages. And we said we're going to pressure the international community to make sure they also commit to loss and damage. So I'm very pleased that in the opening day at COP28 here in Dubai, an agreement was reached for loss and damage funding. And to me, that tells me that COP28 and uh, the President, His Excellency, is very, very committed to starting COP in a very positive manner, building the momentum and getting as much international agreement as possible. And Scotland is here to play its part. And we wish, of course, the, uh, all of the international community, but particularly the presidency, uh, very well in this endeavor. Yeah. So as I mentioned, uh, we hosted COP26. And our commitment was to make sure that the world agrees to loss and damage. Scotland is a oil and gas uh, country. We have been for many decades. But we know we have to transition in a just manner away from fossil fuels and towards renewable energy. And that's where I think uh, we can also add our voice to make sure that happens in a fair way and in a just way. And that's what we hope to do here in COP28. My message is that humanity uh, has to act. The world has to take action. Because all of us, we witness the scenes day after day. The world is on fire. The world is facing flooding. The world is facing drought. And the impact is that people are losing their lives. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. So this COP may well be the most important COP to ever take place. So we have to make sure it's not just warm words, it's not just handshakes, it's not just meetings, but there has to be real action. And the start for COP has been very good. So let's hope for the next couple of weeks it continues. Look, I think uh, the United Arab Emirates are excellent hosts. I think the government of the UAE and the government of Dubai, they are always hospitable people. And the warmth is not just in the weather, the warmth comes from the heart as well. And uh, I'm not surprised because I've been to Dubai and I've been to Abu Dhabi for many years in the past. And every time I've come, the people have been generous, have been open, friendly and warm, uh, as I say, right from the heart. So it's not a surprise. We've had a very warm welcome, been very well taken care of. But what we want from COP is action, and we need our world leaders to commit to real serious action to tackle the climate crisis. Yes, I mean, Scotland also has faced some challenges with climate change. We had a storm in October. That storm, we had more rainfall in three days than we have in the whole month. And it caused real devastation in uh, one area uh, in Scotland in particular. Um, so we are facing the effects of climate change in Scotland. And for us, though it's an issue of justice, Scotland and countries in the global north, we are the ones who unfortunately have, uh, you know, the impacts of climate change are because of our actions, but they're felt by the countries that are the least developed. And so we have to make sure we are funding, we are taking action to help the countries that are the poorest, that are suffering the biggest impacts of climate change. So I think every country has to do more. Of course, the UAE is taking action. I know they've got a lot of efforts in relation to re renewable energy. Uh, we know the good work that has been done, for example, by Mazda. Uh, and we are meeting with Mazda myself uh, tomorrow uh, or in the next couple of days. But every country has to go further. 